Thank you, Christina. It's a Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Lawrence King with Twin Oaks Rehabilitation and Health Care Center. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Chad. Glad to be here. And we wanted to talk about something. We're getting into the holidays. Uh, you know a lot of issues that seniors face this time of year. What are some of the challenges that senior citizens in our community do face? Well, for many of us, you know, holidays is time that we get a chance to spend time with family, a uh, joyful time. Uh, unfortunately, though, for many of our seniors, it's a time that reminds them of uh, uh, friends and loved ones who've fallen ill, uh, many who may have even passed away. And you add to that equation uh, decreased mobility, and uh, they feel a, a, a loss of independence uh, in many cases. And this can result in depression, you know. So mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest issues for this time of year that many seniors face in our community. When we talk about this issue, how do you make sure that folks like this are not forgotten this time of year? Well, we depend heavily on our activities department and our staff, our wonderful staff there at Twin Oaks, uh, you know, to continue to be uh, creative and to present uh, programs and things for the residents there at the facility uh, to keep them encouraged. And, and also, uh, many of the viewers this morning, we depend heavily on the general public uh, to come in and uh, do activities with our residents. Uh, this is a big help. In long-term care, you know, uh, kind gestures go a long way. Yeah. Hey, talk to us a little bit about the volunteer opportunities that exist if people out there want to help in these situations. Well, we encourage people, uh, particularly this time of year, uh, to uh, uh, get involved and maybe even adopting a resident. You know, uh, unfortunately, many of our uh, residents there at the facility and in long-term care in general, uh, they don't have family that visit regularly, you know. So this can be a big help, you know, especially this time of year, the facility, you know, we we make sure that all our residents, you know, those who have family and those who don't uh, have gifts and things of that nature, but it's also good to have the public come in and to assist. And also our activities department, they do a great job with doing ongoing uh, activities with the residents there. Uh, so the general public, they want to just call the facility there, uh, 251-476-3420. Uh, they can ask for Deshauna uh, Williams, she's our activities mm -hmm. director, and she can give them information and, and how they can be of assistance distance this time of year. In what ways do you, do you think God calls on people to serve and respect our elders? Well, Chad, there's a, a scripture that I've, I've grown to love since I've been uh, in this uh, in long-term care, and it's found in Leviticus, around the 19th chapter, and, and it, it basically says, you know, uh, stand in the presence of those who are aged, uh, respect those who are elders among us, and, and revere our God. You know, all throughout scripture, we find uh, that those who are uh, the less fortunate and even uh, the elderly uh, amongst us have a special place in the heart of God. You know, so by caring for these individuals, we actually honor God. So it's actually a way that we honor God and caring for them and making sure that all their needs are met and, and they have all the necessities that are needed uh, to function daily and uh, to be encouraged this time of year. Talk to us about, a little bit about what gestures or activities that you think seniors appreciate the most this time of year. They absolutely love uh, to have groups that come in, uh, particularly the groups with the youth mm -hmm. uh, that come in and they do the carols. Uh, many bring in uh, small bags and things of that nature and hand out uh, to the facilities, blankets, socks. Uh, they actually enjoy just having people around, you know, a listening ear. You know, uh, they have some amazing stories. So, you know, I would just encourage people, if nothing else, just to come over and just sit and talk. And uh, you'll be surprised at some of the stories that they can tell. All right, Lawrence King with Twin Oaks Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center. Thanks you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning. We'll continue after the break. Thank you, Chad.